Hello everybody, this is David. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover more about the Fibonacci uh, sequence generator circuit. On the video, my second video I did um, six, seven months ago, somebody had asked a question on truth table for it. So I'm, I'm going to create a little presentation about it. So here's the uh, Verilog module. This was typed up in Notepad++, but this is the module. The one I used in the video was 32 bits. I'm using an 8-bit one in here. The one you can find on my GitHub is parameterized, but this one is just strictly 8 bits, and that's what the circuit I created. And this is the circuit in Logisim Evolution. I'll switch over to that program in a minute, and I'll show you the operation of it and explain more about it. But we just have the two registers, num1, num2, from the Verilog module. And at every pause edge clock, uh, num2, or num1 becomes num2. And then here's the adder. So fib out becomes num1 plus uh, num2. And then fib out is also fed back into num2 at the pause edge clock. And here's the uh, binary output that will convert to decimal to go along with the uh, sequence. And so this is the best I can do for a truth table because a truth table in digital logic, you have your inputs and your outputs. So for this particular circuit, the inputs are clock and reset. So when reset goes to zero, because we're operating on a neg edge, we're setting the register num1 to zero and num2 to one. So the output will be one. The output is always going to be num1 plus two or num, num1 plus num2 and at every pause edge clock we'll have num1 plus num2 but it's changed within the circuit but the output is always going to be the same and then at neg edge clock no change and by the same i mean num1 plus num2 whatever those values are and down here are the first 10 phases so of course if we go to reset um, equals zero we'll have a one just like it says up here and if we let go of reset and at every pause edge clock, we'll have a new value and we'll have the Fibonacci sequence. It'll be zero, one, you know, one, two, three, all the way. This is the sequence. And I'll show you that in Logisim right here, right now. Okay, here's the circuit I created in Logisim Evolution. Now, if I click on these registers and try and set an initial value to it, I, it's not letting me do anything. So I put this little part right here so I can set a one into num2 and I'll go ahead and do that with the poke tool. I'll poke this to one. I'll do one pause edge clock, poke this back to zero, get to neg edge. And now we're, we're at where we need to start. Num1 is zero and num2 is one, just like after a reset condition. And you'll see the output here is one, just like in the truth table. Now every pause edge clock, we're gonna get another value on it. We're gonna get the Fibonacci sequence. So I'll go ahead and poke it. We got we went one, two, next number three, five, eight. Next one will be 13, which is right here. Then 21. I put those numbers up there so you can check and the values in your calculator. This is 21, 34. Uh, and then we go to 55. And then what, 89. And then 144 which you can see 128 plus 16 is 144. I just went through the first 10 phases of this Fibonacci sequence generator in Logisim and showed you a truth table. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.